When I was a kid, my parents used to always say, excuse my French after a swear word. Man, I'll never forget the first day of school. My teacher asked us if anyone knew any French. Hey kids, Adam here. Today we're going to do a follow-up video on my last video, uh, which was a SSL shootout, specifically the part about the Waves SSL EV2. Uh, towards the end of the video, at about 15 minutes in, I'll put a card up here for that video. Uh, the first two-thirds of the video are the sounds, shooting out the sounds, and starting at about 15 minutes through the end are CPU comparison. Anyone who's seen that knows that the CPU test failed miserably on the EV2. Both the SSL E channel, original one, and the SSL native plugins with 100 copies of the plugin running on 100 tracks uh, were maybe 20% at most CPU. When I put the EV2 on, on 50 tracks, it brought my computer to a halt. And uh, again, this is not a slouch of a computer. It's a Ryzen 3900X 32 gig of RAM, everything running off NVMe SSD drives. Uh, so I emailed it Waves and I said, hey, here's my video I just did. What's the deal with this? The, you know, this can't be right. This, this, there's no way. And uh, here's their response. Dear Adam, thank you for contacting Waves Tech Support. Looking at the video you've sent, I can see the high CPU consumption you are referring to. This is expected behavior. Waves new precision analog component technology will re require more CPU than the original SSL E channel. Please note that each module can be turned off to use less CPU. Furthermore, the analog button can be turned off and should change the CPU consumption dramatically. I'm glad to see the plugin does work as expected. Let me know if I can be of any further assistance. Kind regards, some dude at Waves Tech Support. Let's break this down. The first line, this is expected behavior. So they're expecting a lot more CPU usage. They know it right out of the gate. Uh, their new made up trademarked uh, preci precision analog component technology will require more CPU than the original SSL E channel. Sure, I get it. I get things require more CPU, especially over a plugin that was 15 years old, but is it 40 times more? Is it really 40 times more CPU? Uh, please note that each module can be turned off to use less CPU. Here's a problem I have with this. Uh, the whole point of a channel strip is you're supposed to use the EQ and the compression in one and the power of the SSL is just supposed to be able to drive either the EQ into the compression or the compression into the EQ. And that brings us to the next line. Furthermore, the analog button can be turned off just to change the CPU consumption dramatically. Well, that means if I don't use all the modules, so if I turn off EQ or um, compression, I'm not really even using a channel strip, I'm just using a plugin. But if I turn off the analog, which is what everyone wants to use an SSL channel for, then it should reduce the CPU usage. And then the line that killed me was, I'm glad to see the plugin does work as expected. So pegging the CPU and making it completely unusable is what they're expecting. I mean, hey, if it's a, it's a great business model if you can get away with it. Apparently Waves gets away with it because when I asked them for a refund, they said they do not give refunds at all. And of course, because if everyone knew this plugin was garbage, they'd never pay for it. Now, granted, I got it for a discount because I own the previous uh, SSL channel, so I got it for twenty nine ninety nine uh, US dollars, and I, they are going to do an exchange for me. So I'm going to exchange it probably for the Sheps Omni channel. I'm still kind of figuring out what I want to get for it. I'll probably get one anyway, but uh, I find this ridiculous. But let's—I want to challenge what they said. Let's go into uh, Reaper here, and let's look at and see if the CPU has changed dramatically. All right, here we are on Reaper. This is the same little sound loop clip thing that I had for the last video. And uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the analog because they said that should help change the CPU dramatically. Uh, next, I'm not going to use the uh, compression at all. And I'll turn off the gate, even though that makes it an expander. Actually, uh, there's no way to, okay. There we go, it's bypassed. I'm not gonna use any of the filters. I'm gonna do a one db boost on all four eq channels and uh turned on the volume a bunch negative 40 should be fine and let's just copy this track out 
It's not any faster in copying. You know, plugins that use a lot less CPU are much faster in copying. Let's just uh, make 25 of these. And we'll wait for it because it's slow. Let's bring up our performance meter here. And uh, we'll play it and see what the CPU is like. Okay, so we've dropped um, anywhere from 8 to 10% of the CPU. Okay, so it's changed. Let's see what 50 channels does. So I'll copy and paste all these. I'll just do duplicate tracks here. And we'll see what happens. And we'll see what happens. Now remember, when I copied and pasted up 100 tracks with just the SSLE channel, perfect. Everything is super fast. No issues. I'm on 50 tracks here. The CPU just sitting still is almost up to 80 at times. Let's play it. So there you have it. CPU consumption has not dramatically changed. It was maybe 5 to 10% lower when doing the uh, just the 25 tracks, but I put it up to 50 and it's too much for the, for the computer to handle. Uh, whereas I wonder how many tracks of the original e-channel I could use or even the new uh, SSL native. I don't know what to say, Waves. Uh, I think you have a garbage plugin on your hands. I think you're making up terms and making up uh, excuses as to why the CPU is terrible on it. Now, I started out my career in tech support and I've done a lot of uh, troubleshooting and support in my career in IT over 25 plus years. I understand when a programming department puts out a piece of junky software and you are the first line of support and you have to, you have to defend it. So that may be what's going on. There may be an internal battle at Waves. I hope there's an internal battle at Waves with all the people from tech support fielding calls like this, having to deal with this piece of you know piece of junk. But uh, for now, my rant's over. Uh, until the next video, have yourselves an amazing week. Don't forget to check out the Reaper uh, users Discord channel link in the description, and you know like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know your experiences on the SSL EV2. I'd like to hear it. Leave me a comment. See you. Because of Wave's new precision analog component technology. More like precision oversized CPU melter technology. <laughs>